That felt like it worked. That was nice, yeah. Let me just try this impact bag one more time just to make sure that you have this feel. Okay? So just do, do this into the bag. Okay. So remember, your hands are just coming straight through. There's nothing. There's none of okay. this. There you go. A little softer. A little softer. You can just go. Okay, yeah. that's that's a good yeah. lesson. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's the key. All right. So, all right. So, um, you want to try uh, to uh, just a couple more of those until I feel like you got that. Uh, yeah, that's finished. Fine. I know this is got a little boring, but this is no, no, this no. Is that's key. Fine. That's this fine. Is key. That's fine. All right. So, weight left, arm left arm straight, and just go up. Hmm? Hands out to here, okay. and straight through. No, no turning over. Oh, that's almost, that's, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Okay. So the hands just come straight through. Okay. Like this. Okay. So you actually, your body is just turning like this. Okay. And once you start flipping at the ball, that, that adds, the, yeah. adds the element. I got it. Inconsistency. That's what we're trying to get rid of. Yeah, shit. Oh, yeah, I know. This isn't easy. Probably one of the, the, the hardest and the most important drill you'll ever learn. Now get your weight left. Get your weight left. There you go. See now, even though that didn't go that far, that was the key. Do you hear the? You can even. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, right? yeah. I can tell you. Yeah. What, I don't have to look. I can yeah. tell you when I right. hit it off the club. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So the question is then, how do we get back to that position in a real full swing? Try that one more time because that was. You can repeat that. I like the idea that you can repeat it. Yeah. <laughs> How about topping it? That doesn't count, huh? So when you, uh, you know, I start every practice session with this drill. Do you really? Yeah, even even now. Cool. So, uh, you know, this is something that you'll use forever. It, it teaches you that moment of impact. And if you can feel that moment of impact. Yeah, it's getting more common. I mean, it's. Yeah, I, I can tell. <laughs> no flipping now. No flipping. That still did. You still did, but that was a little bit better. So, so, so uh, before you before you actually hit, you can actually try and just a couple okay. a couple little practice swings where you just go to here. No. No. See, you flip there. Let's try that again. No, not with the ball. Just step back. Yeah. No, don't turn. That's what I'm getting you not to turn. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. Don't turn over like that. Just go. Like, keep your hands on the club when I reach for it, okay? Okay. No, I have to hit that. There we go. Just keep your hands on the club now. There. Like that. Ooh. That's where I want. So try that. Just to there. That's so much so much closer, okay? Okay. okay. All right. All right. Give that a try. Hit it? Yeah, get, hit, hit one and try and get to that same place. Don't flip it over. Oh, yeah, it's getting closer. That's getting, you're getting there. You're getting there. You feel the difference? Yeah, a lot different. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Okay, so now let's think about this. When when we're doing a full swing, then what we're trying to do is get to that position that you're in. We're trying to get to that position at the moment of impact. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that doesn't mean that you're going to play golf this way. You know, mm -hmm. you're going to play with a full swing. But the idea is to get right there at the moment of impact. Right. Exactly right. That's perfect what you're doing there. Okay. So now. How do we make sure that we get back to that same spot? Well, of course, th this drill is great for teaching you what that moment of impact feels like, this little drill that you mm -hmm. just learned. Mm -hmm. But the other thing that has to do with it is to make sure that your head doesn't move, okay? So that's what we're gonna work on right now, okay. all right? And we're gonna do that by, you're gonna, you're gonna do a swing in slow motion, I'm gonna hold on to your head if that's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and uh, so that I can show you how, you, how you're moving, so. Okay, so now, now try and do it. You can do this in slow mo, you know. You, you know. 
And how far do you normally go back in your spin? If you were doing oh, a just about spin. here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you can you can feel you have a tendency yeah. you want to lift up at the top. Okay. Yeah. The, the less you can do of that, the better off you're going to be in terms of coming back through. All right. So let's see a full swing now. Oh yeah. Huh? Oh yeah. That was pretty good, huh? Felt oh, better. Yeah. All right. So, um, uh, so you know, you, you're 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 not using your lower body very much in the swing. So I would suggest that maybe you want to start out with your knees just a little bit, like a, like a second baseman, you know? Okay. Like your yeah, that's it. That's it right there. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. See, you take all of them like that, right? Yes, I would. <laughs> and that far, right, too. Yeah, right there in the <laughs> middle. Yeah. Okay, so second baseman. Think second baseman. I like the way your hands are slightly in front of the ball. You're, that's good. Look at that. That's two in a row. So, um, all right. So second baseman, hands slightly in front of the ball. And now, now as you turn, and I, I'd like you to, I, I think we can get even a little bit more distance, okay? So as you turn, um, Straighten this back leg and bend this forward leg. Okay. Now, I'm not. I don't want you to slide your hips in any direction, but just there you go. That's it. That's it right there. Okay. You see what that does is that turns your hips as you straighten this leg and and bend this leg. It allows your hips to turn. Okay. When your hips turn, your shoulders can turn further. Okay. Okay. So just give it a try. Second baseman posture to begin with. There you go. Oh, that's that's okay. I like the body movement. We're gonna try and get it all together, working together here. <laughs> oh yeah, that was so smooth. You hardly swang at all. Oh, no, like I didn't. That's exactly right. Yeah. Perfect. That's the key. That's the key. Contact is the key. All right, second baseman, get those, yeah, get those legs into it. Oh yeah. All right, so now that that time, the reason why uh, that was a great hit, but the reason why the ball went to the right a little bit mm -hmm. was because you stood up. As you okay. Up. All right, so we're just trying to. Concentrate I know there's a lot down. of information. I understand that, you know. So concentrate on keeping your head right where it was. There you go. Look at that. Uh, Best of the night. <laughs> Perfect, huh? <laughs> Perfect shot, man. That was it right there. Man, now all I gotta a, do is do it again. A, you're a fast uh, learner. You're yeah. a good student. That was great. That felt good, too. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just relax for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's the key. That's the key. Is uh, you get that you get that little you get that uh, little. Uh, Can I try it, that with the driver now? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Absolutely. Um. So. And, and so let me show you something different about the driver. Now. Okay. The driver, um, when you when you hit this driver, the ball is turning to the right, right? There's only one way that geometrically they've now discovered that the ball can turn to the right like that, and that is if the face is slightly open oh, yeah. to the path. So in other words, if the path is going, let's say the path is going straight this way, the the club path is going straight this way. The only way the ball can slice is if that face is open to that path, mm -hmm. right? That imparts a slight tilt to the ball this way, and that causes it to turn to the right. The uh, uh, opposite is, uh, the inverse is uh, actually true also. Yep. So if the club is closed to the path, then it will tilt the ball this way, the spin this way. The ball always backspins, no matter what. You mm -hmm. can't get it to go the other way. It always backspins. But if it's tilted this way, then it's going to turn to the left. Now all of yours were turning to the right, so that says that that face got to close it. is slightly open to the okay. path. Okay. Well, now you don't necessarily have to close it. There's several ways to fix that problem. Okay. Number one would be to make the the path come directly uh, directly perpendicular to the face. But then, of course, you'd hit it straight, but it'd go straight right, which means you'd have to aim left. That's one way to fix it. 
you're right, the easier way to fix that would be to make sure that that face is pointed directly down the path as you come through. The path in this case being the target line, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so if your swing comes back and comes straight down and the, the swing plane is pointed straight down the target line, then you wanna make sure that that face is closed. This face does have a tendency to feel, to lay down a little bit open. I can see that, you know? Mm -hmm. So so how do we change the, the face angle? Well, you can, see the way my, my hands and arms are mm -hmm. doing this? Mm -hmm. This closing the face like this does absolutely no good because your body's just gonna go right back to mm -hmm. where it is. Here's the only way to close the face. You let go of your grip, you close the face, you re-grip. Okay. That's the only way to close the face. Okay, because if you do this, your body's just gonna go right back to that. Okay. So you just let go, close it a little bit, and regrip. Cool. Okay, cool. try that. See if you can get to hit it straight. Now the same thing, the, the, well let's line up here first, and I'll show you how to line up. If your iron shots, you had the ball positioned very nicely, it was just in the center, slightly back of center, mm -hmm. your hands were in front of the ball. Driver is different, okay? okay. The driver, the drivers are set so that what you want to do is you want to hit the low point of the swing and then hit the ball here. Okay. In other words, the club needs to be coming up off of the low point of the swing and catch the ball on the upswing. So the low point of the swing should be here and the club is coming up slightly. And that's where it catches the ball, right mm -hmm. there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that means that the ball has to be, if this is the low point of the swing right here, and, and it will be if, you're, if your left arm stays straight and your head doesn't move, that will be the low point of the swing. That means the ball has to be in front of that. So that means it probably has to be lined up right about with the inset okay. of this foot, okay. okay? Which is not where you're lining no, it up. No, I know. Right? Okay, that also, by the way, will change the way the club face is because as you come through and it's at the low point of the swing, you notice it comes back to the inside a little bit too. So that will naturally close the club face if you move it forward in your stance. Okay. So this is good right there. Try okay. that. See, that's totally different. I know. So do you. <laughs> no, I'm good. Wait till you see. <laughs> Go ahead. A little straighter. Yes, it is. Not not completely straight yet, but we'll get there. Alright, wait, let me grab another stick here. Yeah. Okay, so line up. Go ahead and line up. Oops. Oops that's alright. Just for now. You see? More right. here? Yep. Yeah. Flare this foot out a little bit. Here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Back. Now now step back just a inch. No, step step both that Oh, way. both back? Yeah, there we go. One and a half inch more. Back? Yep, there you go, right there. Okay, wow. All right. Wow. All right, so that is in the inside of your front foot and perpendicular to the to the path of the swing, mm -hmm. right? Okay? So that's where we're going to put it. All right. Don't move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right, we'll figure it out. Here, I got one. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, I have some somewhere. I guess yeah, here, I, I, got, I got some. Let me get you. So the front, the front foot flared a little bit out to the side, and then that ball, which should be perpendicular to that. I would say, yeah, there you go, there you go. Perfect. All right. Now, uh, no, keep, stay, stay down there. Now let go of the grip a little bit, and then twist the club. There you go, there you go. Now breathe it. All right, so now. Um, 
the uh, the issue here I can see is that basically what's happening is that you are um, let me give you a there's my club hold on that you are actually tilting backwards when you swing. So in other words, your weight is not going to the left side. Your weight is going like this. Uh, and do you see what happens to the club face? Yep. So even though you're swinging down the down the target line, that club face is open. That's what's causing that ball to go to the right. So here's what I want you to do is make sure that you get that weight over to the left. A great drill for that okay. is to just hold it with your right hand and do it like a tennis stroke like this. And feel there. You feel that weight shifting over oh, like that. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. That's the way you want it to feel during the swing as well. Okay. You didn't quite get it over there. No. Just get one of those long fingers. All right, so you you would don't have to worry about you know if you step up to the tee even on the course you can do this and just practice getting that weight getting to feel that weight shift to the left side your weight has to be yep. almost 95 percent at the at the moment of impact okay good setup good memory oh better yeah better yeah. <laughs> Okay. Another thing that will help is that if you don't if you don't move to the right okay. at the beginning. Okay? okay. So this one handed thing also shows you that. If you just stay keep your head steady over the ball and to transfer that weight over to the right side. There you go. That just like that. That's the way I'd love to see you end up all your weight over on the left okay. side. <laughs> That's pretty good. I tell you, a lot, not a lot of people can do that. That was pretty damn good. <laughs> I did what you told me to do. Good, <laughs> didn't it? I mean, it felt pretty good, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> not too many people can do that. It's a great exercise. Okay, you need to move back a little bit. There you go. There you go. I know you get the concept. You're a great uh, listener, a great student. I didn't get where I am being stupid. No, that's right. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know, but you know, sports is a whole different thing. You know, uh, getting your body sitting at a desk and being mental about it, something is completely different kind of knowledge than uh, sports. Look at that. There you go. All that's right. Better. There you well, go. My work here is done. There you go. No, that's, that's the biggest tip I had right now. All that right there. Yeah. Let's absolutely. try it again. Yep. <clears throat> okay. So, so anytime you get, anytime your weight moves this way during the swing, anytime your weight moves this way during the swing, chaos. Okay. Chaos. It's going to change the low point of the swing. It's going to open the club face. Okay. All bad things are going to happen. Your weight has to come over here on the left side okay. during the swing. I didn't feel good. No. Oh. Okay, so uh, this. Don't don't step up to the ball yet. You go in back of the ball, you know. So you're gonna take a practice swing like yeah. right here. Yeah. All right. So the remember and the drill that we did did this. Mm -hmm. We only went that far. Yeah. I want you to do that. Practice that ahead of time with the driver. Okay. All right. So it's the same impact position. It's just that the ball is further forward. So here is what you're doing. You're okay. Okay. And here is where we really want you to be. Then you can look up. Okay. okay? But this is where we want you to be first, and then forward. Okay. okay. If you start looking up first, that's also going to open the face. Uh, still look up. Keep my eyes down. All right. See, this is here. You know where we want it. Wow. Flare that foot. Flare that foot. There you go. Wow. Oh. Here. There you go. It's good that you, you should line up this foot first and then then position okay. that foot, okay? 
There you go. Okay. Now you can put that foot wherever it's comfortable. Oops, I got it, I got it. Good, Bob, that's good, that's good. Practice with that, uh, just with that one hand swing before you step up. Try and get it so that you can actually, so that you can actually swing and then balance over there. See if you can get it so you can just stay balanced. That's the way it's supposed to feel. Okay. Balanced over here. All right, what a great hit that is. All right. No effort at all. Huh? No you hardly effort. any effort. <laughs> so see, I'll tell you, you know, contact is 90% of this game. Yep, I totally agree. It really is. So you can do that every time. That's good. Well, it's a great practice. Yeah. Yep. Uh, let me get a uh, picture of this, by the way. Okay. So that I can show you the difference. <laughs> That was really nicely done.